Hey guys, Alex here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video is the weekly croc vlog 51 and I'm only doing 52. We're getting close to the end. Today's video, I'm basing it around basically all of my training that I'm doing this week. So if you want to see what a week of training looks like for me, then stay tuned and see what's going to happen because I'm going to do a physique update at the end of the week. So I'm motivated. I'm going to kill these workouts. I'm going to eat well and hopefully get some good results by Sunday. And today is Monday, the 21st of September. Okay, let's go to the gym. So I'm currently training in my Gym Fit 4 training program inside my CrocFit app, and I'm like almost halfway through the program. And in this cycle, day one starts with chest and biceps, and you're probably wondering why chest and biceps? But when you've been training for a long time, um, you have to create variety by training different muscle groups together. You normally put chest and triceps together because when you're doing chest, you're pushing, which works the triceps as well. So then you might as well go on to isolate the triceps however when you do chest and biceps you're working the chest you're working the shoulders you're working the triceps on a secondary muscle basis but you're not really working the biceps and then you work the biceps afterwards and isolate those and then when it comes to the back day which will be later on in the week we'll do back which will work the biceps as a secondary muscle and then the triceps so the biceps and triceps are effectively getting worked twice in the week which is going to help build them even further anyway that's workout one of the week complete okay tuesday and tuesday session is cardio and abs today and um, the reason for that i'm not doing my normal gym routine today because my glutes are so sore from a home fit workout that i did on sunday before this video of course and um so it would be my gym fit for leg day today but instead i've pushed that to tomorrow probably and that is because this is smart training. The ability to train smart is all about adjusting your routine depending on the circumstances. My old self, I would have just pushed through and just done the plan. But right now I'm thinking there's no point training right now if I haven't fully recovered. So that's why I've gone for this cardio and abs routine. Don't you dare jump. When sometimes I see her like look up to jump over the fence, don't you dare. <laughs> um, so my so my workout today was 800 meter run just like a medium jog speed no sprinting just to loosen up the legs get them working a little bit get the blood flow into the legs and then four abs exercises then rest for a minute and do that five times which took me about 40 minutes so it was a nice workout okay welcome to Wednesday and today's workout is a leg day my chest is so sore from yesterday but today is leg day in gym fit four and we have a quite a busy day ahead so we're getting the workout done early in the morning which is not like my normal routine but I've enjoyed getting it done early before breakfast just had a pre-workout coffee um, having post-workout protein shake now and then have um, my breakfast and then crack on with the day I think I've got another session later on yeah just like I said a second workout of the day and the sweat oh my god so it is Wednesday it's when I do my weekly live workout on Instagram and um, today was just a 20 minute hit workout um, but extremely extremely hard as you can see if you're not joining me on Instagram every week then join me because it's absolute hit from hell um, I need to I need to rest have a shower get refueled and then get ready for tomorrow's training have you seen that? <laughs> seen what? Um, what are you laughing at? <laughs> because I was just about to vlog. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> at the start of the vlog, we'll <laughs> Okay, Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. I almost took a rest day today because I was sore. Didn't sleep too well. Stayed up late last night to crack on with some work. Um, so I was tempted to take, to take a rest day, but I thought I'd push through today's workout and take the rest day tomorrow. So today is Gym Fit 4. It's the shoulders and triceps workout which I got on with well um, and then did some cardio at the end and because I didn't recover too well I wanted to do some cardio from, for some fat burning but something that isn't going to cause me too much um, stress on my body so the HIIT training yesterday has caused a lot of stress on the body so there's no point doing any more HIIT or high intensity intervals or of any form or circuits or Metcon there it is again <laughs> Sarah came to train with me today <laughs> Uh, so so that's why I did 20 minutes on the treadmill 
um, incline walking for some cardio at the end because um, list training, low intensity, steady state training is really easy to recover from. So if you're if you're struggling to recover, then you can walk, you can cycle, you can row um, to get the cardio, the calorie burn done without causing too much stress on the body, easy to recover, and you can do it every single day. Oh, Friday, and as you can tell, it's dark outside, so it's Friday night, another busy, busy day. So today was my weights rest day, so no gym. Um, but I don't do nothing. So today I'm, um, I've actually been working really hard getting HomeFit 3 and HomeFit 4 ready for the app, which motivated me to try one of the workouts again. So I just did a HomeFit 3 um, cardio and abs workout, which was just 25 minutes long. I didn't push to failure. I know that my body needs to recover from the weight, so I didn't push it too hard. Just got a sweat on, did some cardio, a bit of calorie burning and some core work. Feeling good and ready for the weekend. Okay, welcome to Saturday. And Saturday is back at the gym for the final weights workout of the week. And it was a back day, back calves and abs really. And the final session of this particular cycle that I'm in on my Gym Fit 4 Croc Fit App program. Um, and the great news is, is that I'm on a couple of exercises um, on the row and also in the deadlift. I lifted like 10 kilos more than the previous week. So I know that results are coming. And isn't that just the best feeling when you actually have real tangible measures of you making progress? Like sometimes in the mirror, you're confused. Sometimes on the scales, you're confused. But when you're actually in the gym and you do more than you used to, that's an incredible feeling. So that's what happened today. And I'm feeling good. Okay, all right. Sunday, made it to Sunday, the end of the week, and you'll be happy to know that today is a complete rest day for me. I've got to practice what I preach about rest and recovery. Some of those days during the week were low intensity and I did less, um, and I do consider those kind of active recovery sometimes, but I do like to take one day, hopefully, where I don't stress out the body at all. And on this day, um, I'll do some yoga, do some stretches, do my normal stretching routine and make sure I get a nice long walk in there as well. One thing that I haven't mentioned so far is, um, is the activity that I do. My morning routine every single morning is getting up at 6.30 and going for like a 5,000 step walk, like a half hour, 45 minute walk, and then do my stretching in the morning. And every single day I do achieve 10 to 15,000 steps overall. And that makes up a big portion of cardio or activity or calorie burn and adds to the whole equation. Um, but today, like I said, will just be purely um, stretching, yoga, and getting a long walk in there to give my body a good chance to recover because I'm sore from yesterday's back workout. And um, as promised, here is a physique update this morning. <clears throat> I'm just under 77 kilos, so I was 76.9. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna look better tomorrow when the inflammation from the training goes out. I always look better and my weight drops down after a rest day when my body is truly had a good bit of recovery, but um, I'm pretty happy with this week's progress nonetheless. Um, I can definitely start to feel like I'm losing body fat slowly whilst building muscle slowly. And I think the word slowly is the key one here because we all want quick, quick results. And often with that quick mindset, um, you don't get the best results because you're always just darting from one thing to the next. But if you really think about wanting to achieve results in the long run and taking your time and being patient, you're gonna get much better results. So I'm happy with my slow progress at the moment because right now I feel like I'm just gonna continue being consistent with my calories, my training, etc. cetera. Um, <clears throat> so with my training, you're probably thinking, my God, how, how has he trained so much in the week? Or how, how do you keep up with that amount of training in the week? And of course, it's easy for me because it's my job, blah, 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 blah. But to be honest, my job, it takes a lot of actually sitting at my desk, doing lots of editing, and I have a business to run. I have hardly any time to train, but I'm still making it happen. Of course, it's part of my job, and I'm motivated because of the various aspects intertwined with my physique and my body and, and going to the gym. Um, but I still have to make it happen, and it's a part of my day-to-day -day life, and I've built it as a habit even though I'm incredibly busy. Um, so if it's a priority for you, you'll make it happen as well. But training the amount that I did isn't necessarily essential for you to do the same amount. It all depends on what your goal is and at what level you're at. For example, if your goal is purely fat loss and, and dropping weight, then it's not essential to, to hit the gym every day to build muscle if you don't wanna build lots of muscle right now. 
um, the main thing for you is to get that energy balance, to burn more calories than you're consuming. And most of that can be done through eating well, improving your nutrition, and burning more calories through your active lifestyle, through walking and through things like that. If your main goal is to build muscle, but you're a beginner, then that can be done with less sessions at the gym, maybe two or three times a week through full body workouts, high intense training, or maybe upper body, lower body split, for example. And then, don't worry, Sarah, I'm just filming. <laughs> <laughs> or in fact you can get so much training done just at home if you're a beginner and want to build muscle as well so for me because I'm like 12 13 years into training it does require a high volume of training to continue to get progress so it all depends on where you are and at what level you're at so don't get intimidated by me training every single day because you've got to understand where you are and what you can do to improve your fitness and overall physique okay that's it for today I'm gonna to enjoy my rest day and that is croc vlog 51 and next week is croc vlog 52 and it's the last weekly croc vlog to round up the whole one year so make sure you look out for that um, so if you enjoyed this make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please click subscribe if you're old to my channel then thank you so much for all the love and the support i'll see you in the next one bye bye